Research by the World Bank indicated that by the end of 2010, the ratio of people to vehicles in Kampala was 8 to 1,000. By the end of March 2018, records from Uganda Revenue Authority suggested that the whole of Uganda had one million registered vehicles, not even a quarter of Kampala's daytime population. For years, infrastructure development in the city has been centered around easing movement for motorized vehicles and pedestrians and owners of non-motorized transport have not been given much thought. It's against this background that Kampala Capital City Authority started to plan for pedestrians and cyclists by dedicating a number of roads to non-motorized transport. While there are so many people that are driving, there are also so many other people that are walking and we want to cycle. So um, we came up with a pilot and said we will use one of the busiest routes in the city so that we can have people go and walk and uh, use that route without any competition from other moving objects like motorcycles, like, uh, like, like vehicles. According to Peter Kauju, the KCC spokesperson, work is underway and it will continue for the next eight months along Namirembe Road and Luom Street, which were chosen for the pilot project. The World Bank is financing the project with over 14 billion Uganda shillings. However, although the work is already underway, many city dwellers claim not to understand how the project will benefit them. If they had planned earlier, so that, for instance, uh, we have flyovers, we have the road for pedestrian, either it should be flyover or all motorists should, should use the flyover and then pedestrians use the, the, the main road. But for now, if they decide to close Namirembe Road, that one will not help and it needs a proper planning, not just closing the road. Amanda Ngabirano, a consultant in urban planning, says Kampala has a lot of chaos in the central business district which needs to be sorted. It's about spaces for people. It's about improved um, aesthetics, the appearance of the area. So the roads to be closed in that uh, zone, it's a very good uh, signal of a modern way of thinking by our city planners. However, Ngabirano concedes that Ugandans will need to be given time to get used to the non-motorized transport system. Walking is part of city planning and attitude and mindset change sometimes come when the infrastructure is there. When people see that the working facilities are decent, their mindset also changes. KCCA has over the years been constructing roads and expanding existing ones which will hold the traffic from the roads close to vehicles. We have built road infrastructure since 2011 to the tune of um, over 260 kilometers and uh, we still have some other roads under construction. We have maintained over 500 kilometers of roads in the city. So the vehicles should not choose the congested zone of Namirembe Road, Loom Street to access the city center. If you are coming from Masaka and you have to go to Jinja, for example, you don't have to go through Namirembe Road. Choose the wider network which KC has constructed and expanded. Those with businesses along these roads have been told not to worry. An opportunity for other businesses as well to be added along those routes. Uh, because if people are walking, uh, possibly you've been missing um, on, on, on seeing something or indulging in something because you've been in a car. But uh, maybe there will be more coffee shops, there will be more um, open areas for people to come and, and, and buy something. And in their minds, those who are resistant, it's that they think the cars are the buyers. The cars are their customers. Their customers are pedestrians, even if they arrived there by car. The Lord Mayor of Kampala area, Lukwago, wants the street vendors to be given an opportunity to operate from these roads. However, KCCA does not agree with this. So that you create room for the less privileged also to have a place where they can earn a living, where they can make a living. It will be self-defeating for us to create a special road for walking and cycling, and then at the same time, you bring people to bring merchandise in the road. The funders of the project are not only seeking to decongest the city, but also to conserve the environment. Solomon Kawesa, N.